Welcome to Love My 419 <laughs> from the Harold Jaffe Jewelers Studio. I'm Bill Delaney. Sandy Eisenberg She's is back. back. Oh, oh man. Oh, I this thought, is our oh. friend Mocha Eisenberg. And she's got darker hair. And <laughs> no, I don't. You're the much same older. hair. You're much older than when we had last week. Anyway, probably, and, and this is Mr. Steve Reamy. I'm going to get out of this real quick. I got okay. her grandmother's age, I'm sure. And you can't <laughs> stop her. You can't stop her. Uh, you don't need to see to shoot in Iowa. No. Nope. Big story. <laughs> Big story. <laughs> Blind. The You're president blunt. doesn't need a firearm to stop a crime or a massacre, and that's my man. He would go in. He would have done it. He would have done it. Okay. Dick Sporting Goods will stop packing heat. Start, don't do that. I, I saw that. I saw that. Okay. So you, did you get that? Dick Sporting Goods, no mm -hmm. packing of heat. This is another story. Mm -hmm. And the city can uh, begin to operate, <laughs> operate Swiss, Swiss streets. You get it? Swiss streets. Okay. Uh, to resurface if the trail this year. you didn't get it, it's Swiss cheese streets. No, it says Swiss streets. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's much more of Love My 419. I'm going back to We'll be right page. back. And here it is. She's back. <laughs> Love My 419 is brought to you by Harold Jaffe Jewelers. Without them, there is no Love My 419. And without Love My 419, how do you know about all the wonderful people, places, businesses, and things that make up the 419? So stop into Harold Jaffe Jewelers anytime, Monday through Saturday, and let them know how much you appreciate them, bringing you the quality television like Love My 419. They're awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for watching Love My 419. Many of you don't know, but for many years we've had a program here called Wedding Showers. And Wedding Showers is essentially, not essentially, it is, if it rains an inch or more on your, on your wedding day, we will refund up to $5,000 of your engagement ring price. Um, and we, we've got a, a big announcement today. Brian and Marquita here got married November the 5th, and if you remember that day, it was, it was a torrent. And they are, uh, they're, among, they're among our lucky winners through the years. And we're very pleased to present them with a check refunding the price of their engagement ring. How's that? We were very excited. We knew that it was gonna rain on our wedding day, so we had lots of plans and plan Bs and plan Cs. And on our wedding day, we just were saying, if it's gonna rain, let it pour. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, again, we're really, really happy to be able to do this. Um, it's exciting for us, believe it or not to give money away sometimes, and this is the best way we can do it. By, and by the way, this is all brought to you by Love My 419. Love My 419! Love My 419, brought to you in part by Amy's Cleaning Service, the Wonder Woman of Cleaning. Feature your business now on Love My 419. Now back to Love My 419 on NBC24. Welcome back to Love Pie 419. I'm Bill, Sandy, and Steve. And Steve, what have you got? Well, you know what? We love our sponsors. Yes, yeah. and absolutely. I'm, you know what? Easter is coming, you know. It is? Everybody likes the chocolate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Easter's coming. Yeah. Chocolate dark bunny. chocolate. Dark chocolate chocolate bunny's chocolate. okay, but just think about Rachel Michaels. Popcorn, With Easter popcorn pop in there. In. and she has great variety of flavors that can go in your Easter bag. She'll probably have a new one by that oh, time. Oh, I'm sure she will. <laughs> so, but you can get a free sampling of it if you mention Love, Love My 419. There you go. There you go. We love Rachel. Now. So. Absolutely. There you Chocolate go. Chocolate popcorn with pecans thrown in. Oh, here we go. This is hot stuff in the 419, folks. <laughs> yes. Uh, the Anthony Wayne Trail resurfacing. Uh, there's some money going back and forth. We're not getting enough money from the state. What's the story here? Please fix it. Well, there's more, hey, that's more than one street besides the oh, trail. It's every Lasky, Talmadge, uh, part of Central that they never finished fixing. Right. Secor Road, Douglas Road. God only knows what's out in the south well, end and the north end. You know, the point is, if we're not getting enough money from the state, then we, we're not doing something right here. Right. I mean, we should be doing something. Right, right. 
Well, if they can get the schedule. Well, if they, they could move it up. They yeah. They could move it up. So. Well, and the governor's got about $3 billion in his rainy day, uh, rainy day fund. Rainy wow. day? Rainy day day fund. Rainy, rainy day. day. My, oh, head, it's got a my head has melted from the sun of St. Uh, Petersburg Beach. Real estate agent Ray Henderson, uh, no longer a good source. Uh, for assisting home equity. This home is a equity. little <laughs> bit sticky because you yeah. know, he is a friend of mine, Steve but knows. you know, some decisions, some poor decisions were made. And now, you know, he's, he's in, in deep doo doo. He's in some deep doo doo. So, you know. <laughs> and nobody wants to be in doo doo. Yeah, you can't mm. be. Especially if it's deep. Right. Deep is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm short too. I, that wouldn't work for me. Yes. I, I so oh, my. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, new jail meetings. Uh, uh, no ad administers in the house or what? No what administration came to the meeting. It was not set up by oh, the yeah, commissioners. It was set up by a, a very large neighborhood group that's very upset about it being there. They should be. And Well, the bottom line is I still don't understand why it can't go where the new state jail is down there. Uh, on Central Avenue. Right. What? Somebody has There's brought so up. Now, this is a friend land. of mine. He, he he's he's a good guy. Okay. But he's come up with a plan that would take down the old house, the, the sheriff's home. Okay. That is not being used. I think it's on the historical. Oh, hysterical. That is historical. Tear it hysterical. down. I'm tired of hysterical stuff. Be take a picture of it and put it in a museum. Anyway. Wow. Build it right there. Build it one yep. right there, and then redo the other one. The one in California is thirty-five stories. Wow, thirty-five. Wow. And ours is what eight, nine. I don't know what it is, wow. but it's got four they stories are, below ground. Well, they they that can flood. add on to that. that That's the way flood. it was built. It was built to add on. Right. So I, think the, I have said keep it downtown. And keep it downtown. I that, said keep it downtown. Well, I'll tell you what. I will tell They're you. Right next to the jail, they don't have to travel. There's the none of that. The court system's right there. Keep it downtown. Well, the other thing is too. I can remember years ago, which was before my time as a commissioner, that the blade was apoplectic because it was costing $12 million. Wow. Now they think spending $181 million taxpayer dollars is not a bad idea no. at all. Right. I mean, get your story straight, right. man. Figure it yeah. out. Yeah. yeah, no kidding. You know, Maybe we can't figure it out. I don't know that Toledo someday. needs a campus for jail and mental health if they would fix the mental health right. system that we already have. And from what I understand, that property that they're looking at, there's a lot of stuff underneath there that could cause some problems. Oh, well. well they'd have so to they'd have, have to rehab way, that whole thing. They would have it's to more rehab money. It, more money, know? more money, more we'll money. We'll keep on top of it. So. Right, right. It's Listen, I don't begrudge the people for selling it to the county, but I think before the county paid for it, they ought to you know figure out where their money's money. coming from. Yeah. You think? Anyway, we'll be right back after this message. Please stay tuned. Love My 419 is brought to you in part by 360 Painting, the residential and commercial painting experts. Contact them today for more information or to book a quote. Please call 419-360-9121. Welcome back to Love My 419. I'm Bill, Sandy, and Hi Steve. And Steve, uh, what do we got, buddy? Well, you know our buddy Randy, the Grand Poobah yeah. of Paint, is he's hooking you guys up. <laughs> <laughs> he's a residential and commercial painting expert. If you mention Love, Love My 419, he will hook you up with a quote. So there you go. All right. Yeah. And All now's right. the time to start now booking. Now is the Absolutely. time to start doing Absolutely. That. Mm -hmm. And if you were at the home show, they would have seen him down mm -hmm. there too. Yep. That's true. Um, POTUS versus the uh, officers of, for the shooting down in, in Florida. And um, I don't know why they got uh, coward to hero or coward versus hero, but I don't, I don't really think that he, he was following what previously was the authorized way of doing it. Right. right. Okay. Stay right. outside. Now, and see besides what's going on. that, 
if I heard it outside, I would have run toward wherever the shooting was, right? no matter right. what. So that, that's, that's the controversy. So a lot of yeah. them are saying, okay, was he not doing his job by not going in and finding out what was going on? Or was he under the notion that the shooter was coming outside <clears> and that's where he should be? So Well, it's, it's a lot of controversy one way. And everybody's got their own opinion. And, right. The point of this whole thing is right. they should have checked everything out Prior right. to this time, they would have had him. That's exactly right. And that's the problem. Right. The and problem. we were talking about, you know, and yeah. his name Well, is... you, and then you got the president saying he would run in well, even yeah. if he didn't have a gun. This is a guy that got deferments five times for a bone. But he's my hero. Come on. For a bone spur in his foot that he, he doesn't even remember. He would have taken the bullets oh, and yeah. then got him down. Hush. Oh, anyway, from your list, uh, the Dick's Sporting ears. Goods won't sell heat to anyone. Well, and this, I thought this was Very really cool. Very cool, guys. This, yeah. this, so if you happen to see Good Morning America this past week, the CEO of Dick's Sporting Good actually came on and he said, you know, in reaction to what happened in Florida, he was just going to ban and they're not going mm -hmm. to sell right. these high-profile rifles anymore in his well, store. So I think There's one, yeah. And, I the, think and the magazines either. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that is something, that's a huge step. It because is. he's a large retailer that does sell guns. Right. And for him to come out... It's and, a great store, too. It's a great store. Yeah. It's a great store. And it was interesting, in fact, because the shooter actually had bought a Got gun from them. From them. Earlier. Not actually the one that Not he the one used killed, in the but, shooting. Well, he yeah. bought 12 or 10 exactly. a week over the yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. So, so he had plenty of weapons. Kudos no for what. Dick, Sporting Goods and CEOs. Well, yeah, they need know. to start, well, but they need to start doing things in schools. Like there's this, uh, uh, one of the states, I can't remember which one, they're right. going to put millions of dollars in the schools in bulletproof right. glass. They're going to have counselors in the schools. Right. They're going to have more than one security officer in the school. I mean, you can't just arbitrarily walk into a school right. with an AK-15 and, yeah. hello, kill these kids. It's terrible. Right. Okay, I'm going to want to mention this briefly, but yes. uh, Bill Cosby's daughter passing away. Yeah, that was, yes. that was a shame. She yeah. died was a shame. 44, and Forty Cosby, yes. Yeah, okay. sad but, child. Sad, the, sad illness. Yeah. Bad but illness. The, okay, the big story. Mm -hmm. The big story. Iowa is issuing guns per, gun permits to blind people. If they want it. Right. Hello. Hello. Bang. bang. <laughs> you know. So then this is part of the law. This is part of the law in the state of oh. Iowa. So <laughs> what they basically have said is we can't actually track, you know, the conditions of who's actually buying guns. Mm -hmm. So, you know, rather than to say no, they have this open opinion that if blind well, people want to buy them. Right. You know, we have no they way of knowing them. if they are or aren't, so they're not stopping them. So, well, so. I would stay away from blind people. Well, you know. Them. I would stay away from Iowa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get to the border, keep right on driving. Keep right on driving, <laughs> baby. <laughs> woo -hoo. And right. blow. Drive, 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 blow. Right blow. Right, right through the yeah. yeah. um, <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> we'll be right back after this message. Stay with us. We got a lot more. Love My 419, brought to you in part by Powell's Beauty Supply, servicing Toledo for over 30 years. Also brought to you by The Butler, Master Barber, changing lives one haircut at a time. Find him inside the Operations Barber Shop, 1824 North Reynolds Road. Coming up, more Love My 419.
welcome back to Love My Four Wine <laughs> for one night. And thanks for staying with us. Now my teeth are going bad. All right. <laughs> Rigidity as hell. All right. Okay, these are stories you need to know. The 419 stories you need to know! What are they? That crazy. God bless America. Voice again. Anyway, police union president on domestic violence. This is sad because Dan is... Oh, I like Dan. Guy. I've known him for a long time too. And and but his nineteen yeah. year old son apparently got under his did, skin. Yeah. Wow. You could I can figure that. Anybody out there got teenagers? Hello. Right. Even up to nineteen. Yeah. You're right. gonna have your set of problems. You are. Well so, I can say orange is not a flattering color. Anyway. Well, yeah. no, not for anybody. No, well. Yeah. You know. I, I, I feel his pain. Black. I think it is the new black. But rolling along here, <laughs> was talking about that. We might as well talk about him. Right. Uh, the Hemp Center recognized uh, this on is Friday? huge. So uh, this local cannabis business is specializing in industrial hemp, and mm -hmm. it won the Hearts of Toledo's, and now it's continuing winning awards as it was voted the best holistic health center in Toledo by the Toledo area city paper. So that's well, kind of big. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I wonder how many people voted for that? I don't know, but I was I was shocked to know that there's such hemp is like taking the world by storm. Yeah. Just imagine you driving up and ordering a hemp crusted pizza, or hemp coffee, or hemp mm -hmm. chili. Hemp is everywhere, so yeah. you know these guys are innovative in making sure that you know you can get it but several this, different ways. Not to get into something else, but mm -hmm. medical marijuana is still marijuana. Right. You know, uh, I was I asked my doctor about that the other day. Right. Trying to find something to take care of my uh, bursitis. But oh, anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, How about something to take care of your brain? <laughs> <laughs> that wow. would be getting rid of her. <laughs> wow. That would be a beginning. Okay. Wow. Only Good because to have you, you back, Sandy. I, I, I know yeah. it. I, I'm so thrilled. I am so happy to be <clears throat> back. You cannot imagine. <laughs> New police chief in Sylvania. Nice man. Paul Long. Yep, nice man. Took over on Tuesday. That's okay. cool. Yep. New guy. Right. Uh, and let's go on to Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo Tavern on its way. This is kind of exciting. So mm -hmm. we remember a few months ago they had actually closed down nine, nine, nine. which is part right. of the Hensville renovation. Right. So not knowing what they was going to go in place, they now are going to offer a new business called Holy Toledo Tavern mm -hmm. on there, which is going to have a more scaled down menu. you not not quite so high end, and it's going to have a more local flavor, you know, casing uh, craft beers and those types of things. Okay. So it's so cool. When you, you say know. local local flavor, you don't mean health food. Exactly. No. Good. I'll go. Wings and onion rings are not I'll go. Real healthy. I'm but, you kind know, of hey. tired of this other exactly. stuff. I don't so, know. It's not yeah. Of course, company. it might keep you healthy. Might fix your brain. <laughs> <laughs> to some. Only to some. Anyway, we'll be right back after this message. Stay with us. Love My Phone One Nine. Brought to you in Popeye, the Joe Hummel team of Key Realty. Voted by you, the Phone One Nine. Toledo City Papers Best Realtor. to love my 419. I'm Bill. This is Sandy. That is Steve I over used there. to be Sandy. Oh, what have okay. you got, buddy? We're laughing, okay? And I, that's all the more reason why you <coughs> download the app. That's correct. You can see some of the reasons why we're laughing. That's right. And you'll, that's right. you'll like the and laughing. And you will love the laughing. <laughs> laughing and the laughing. laughing. Yes. They got me going over here. You're teaching but, it. Yes, I got yeah. You gotta stop drinking it. But I know, right? Right. Fun in the 419! 
Okay. Speaking of drinking, we were yeah. doing a lot of that. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Not we. Yeah. Me. We were doing a lot. So, Me. yeah, we'll be doing a lot of that tonight at the 90th Oscars because yeah. they're going to be on ABC tonight with Jimmy Kimmel as yeah. the host. And then we are going to have our own party. Oh, yeah. Oscar party at Yark BMW Automotive. So that's going to be fun. Boom. Okay. And we've got some video that you definitely are going to want to see because we were at a party last night at the wine event down at the Seagate Center. It's a uh-huh. huge party. I'm a little bit hungover, but I'll check out the app and check out the video. You can see why I'm hungover. So, <laughs> And we've got giveaways. Everybody likes free stuff, right? So if you are one of the first names into the Love My 419 app mm-hmm. on Facebook, Leave your content, and we're going to give you some free rocket tickets, okay, right. to the preseason. So right. we that's got three just them, right? some of the fun. We got three. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Anything I think change. I've seen Anything seven. I think I've seen <laughs> seventy of the ninety Academy Awards. So there you go. Okay. Uh, the seen, I know I've seen sixty. <laughs> Moving right along. Of the Academy. We'll be back oh, after this message. Crickets. Stay tuned, please. Love My 419, brought to you in part by the Joe Hummel team of Key Realty. Voted by you, the 419, Toledo City Papers Best Realtor. This sound is great right now. Nobody doing it. No false moves. Thank you. <laughs> we even talk like this. Segment two. Take one. Don't move your lips. All right, everybody. You still hear the people so far? I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm coming out just like this. <laughs> <laughs> we can't tell you what happened in the interim, folks. But watch the ale. Steve is still. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, with that, see, with there, you wouldn't even do it. You just say. You take a long pause and go to the app. Just go to the app. You don't have to keep telling them that, hey, you will see this, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Be right out in the center. Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. Pardon the interruption, but it's time for Love My 419 Sports. Good morning to you. I'm Andre Savage with you once again, and I'll just be a brief moment. I just want to let you know and remind you, it's postseason hoops time, people. And real quick, let me jump back to last week because all of this took place after we taped the show last week. But congratulations to the Start Spartans, your 2017-2018 City League champions. That's right, a final buzzer beater at the horn last week was spectacular to say the least and a thrilling game one for the annals certainly one history we'll never forget and again congratulations to the spartans 49 48 over the rogers rams and mr brandon lewis who hit the buzzer beater in fine 
and big time fashion. So shouts out to him. But real quick, shouts out to the Toledo Rockets, which is why we're here this morning to remind you postseason play begins for them tomorrow at Savage Mac Tournament first round. Rockets are the champs, seventh championship in their history. So we wish them well, but we wish you well on getting these tickets. That's right. We're going to put you into the game for free. 419. That's right. So the first person or people or couple or family to enter your contact in our Facebook inbox will receive one of our pairs of tickets. And we've got three. So make it snappy. Get on your job, people. It's hoops time. It's postseason. It's sports all the time. It's 419. We'll see you next week. Love my 419. Brought to you in Popeye, the Joe Hummel team of Key Realty. Voted by you, the 419. Toledo City Papers Best Realtor. And this is our final thought of the show. Well, and we all have the same final thought. Absolutely. Hand handling Toledo? Well, here's a different perspective from our friend Schuler King. We'll see, see you, guys. you next time. Bye. Next week, folks. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something that just happened to me. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, these homeless people getting out of hand. They losing their damn mind. I'm on my way into Wendy's. The damn homeless man going to ask me on my way in, brother, do you have any spare change? I said, no, nah, man, I don't have no spare change. And I really didn't have no damn spare change. This dude going to look at me. What kind of man walk out the house with no money? Nigga, who is you talking to? I said, hold on, bro, don't, 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 don't do that. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We ain't finna have this guy discussion, okay? Now, you sitting in here asking me for change, and you standing right next to the damn now hiring sign. I almost walked over there and set that goddamn cardboard box on fire. Your problem is you want me to give you fish, but you don't want to know how to fish. Standing up here smelling like fish. Then you're going to tell me, well, well, you need to read your Bible. Because money answereth all things. Oh, really? Well, I guess I don't need to ask you then. I know you need to read the Bible. Right in the book of Jobs. I know it's supposed to say Job's, but they spell the same. He, oh, Jesus take the wheel. Yeah, Jesus take the wheel, and you take your ass in here and ask for a job.